Hey guys, TechMate Simple back here, and we have both of the WaveShare Game Hat and the WaveShare Game Hat Pi 43. Now, if you look at both of them, you can see a significant difference as far as the size. One is a more uh, portable option, as you can see, like a PS Vita, when the other one is a more supersized Game Boy, you can kind of say. We're looking at a 3.5 inch display over here, and we're looking at a 4x3 inch display over here. And let's just take a look at this one right now. And we're just going to show off how beautiful that screen is. I think WaveShare did an awesome job with the build quality of this. I know a lot of people complained about the game hat cutting their hands when they're playing it and all that. I'm not saying that this is going to be easier on the hands, but if you look at it, you're holding it like this. So you're not really cutting into your hands like when you were holding that because you were forced to have this part right here in your palms. So holding it like this with the controls, a lot of people would think that because of the controls are so close that, oh my God, it's going to be too close and it's going to be uncomfortable. But if you look at it, you have this area and this area right here to get a nice grip. Move your hand forward and you can button smash and play as just as much as you want to. Now, to look over the device, we have the power. Let me focus the camera real quick. We have the, let's get to see if it gets focus right there. We have the power, USB 2.0, the 3.5 millimeter head jack. We also have the on and off switch on the top. On the side, of course, we have the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the Ethernet port, the four USB ports. We have the industrial look of course where it has the silver buttons that keep the whole case connected together on this side we have nothing you do have your card um, for your image your TF card so you know any pre-made images um, that's fine you do need to install the drivers just like you had to do with the game hat where you had to install the drivers to make it actually work a lot of people told me before when doing so they would uh, install the drivers and the screen would go completely black. That never happened with me. When I installed the drivers, basically it just got, it reset itself and the text, the fonts, and the images got real huge. Popped it into my WaveShare device and it worked perfectly. Uh, over here on the bottom we have the backlight, uh, kind of like a contrast ratio where you can make it go darker or lighter. We have the volume up and down. Um, I'll give you a feel and a listen of the buttons real quick so you can see that the clickiness is gone. So you see that, that's all gone. And if you compare that to the wave share, I mean you already see. We've got major clickiness going on right there. So let's look more up close at the buttons as you select start. Um, hotkey, I'm assuming that is. Um, someone actually told me that stands for Hong Kong. I don't believe that. But hotkey. So if you're in a, a Raspberry Pi image, you normally hit select and start to jump out the image. But with this one, you're going to hit the hotkey and start to jump out the image. The image that I'm using on here is recall box. So of course we know instead of A, you use B. And we're going to get into some quick gameplay real quick just to take a look at this. Let me pick um, something really colorful. Uh, let's bring it up to. Let's go to MAME. And let's look at some of the images here. We have uh, Namco. P let's go to PGM because uh, one of my favorite games is Demon Front. So let's go there. And let's just see. Let's the round table. Let's also put that up front. So let me go right here. Select the in front. Let's just take a look. Let me turn up the volume. Now one thing about these speakers, they are tinny, just like the 
WaveShare uh, game hat there. Not the best speakers. They're not bad at all. You can hear them. But in a crowded room, you're going to want to use headphones. Um, like the LCL Pi Boy, those speakers are really good. Um, the GPI case, the new from RetroFlag, those speakers are really good. But these aren't bad at all. So we're going to go to select for the coins. Um, start, we're going to pick our character. And this screen is phenomenal. Just look at the viewing angles of the screen. Look at this. Excuse me for the glare doing this in my kitchen, but as you can see, this is just phenomenal. I'll bring it a little closer and give you some gameplay. Okay. And Demon Front is totally a Metal Slug ripoff. I know that um, PGM wanted to take on Neo Geo uh, for the Arcade King back in the day. And some of their games really were uh, superior to Neo Geo. I remember uh, there's something called Martial Arts Master something. It totally blew me away how fluid the 2D graphics were. They were better than Art of Fighting 3, which you know Neo Geo changed their style. From the traditional 2D to the uh, 3 3D in the background with the 2G, so you know, it was just 2D graphics. I mean, it was it was not bad at all. I liked it a lot. Um, what are these guys doing down here? But yeah, this is awesome. So I really like this. Just to give you. A thing of how it looks in the hand. I mean, I have pretty big hands, but you know, the average person, you know, you can. It's not that bad. It's a 4.3 inch screen. It's not that big. So, we'll go and check out something else. And also, let me show you something else. Let me just turn this down a little bit. Right here with recall box, they have great music that changes with every emulator. Wow, 1070 for Game Boy Advance. Wow. Game Boy Color. You hear that? So the sound isn't that bad. And this screen is just amazing. I can't talk enough about the screen. Dreamcast. Let's try some Dreamcast. Let's try some Power Stone. Also, there are shoulder buttons on the back, L and R. So, Let's see how it handles this. Very fluid and fast so far. 
No uh, excess warming coming from the case. So with this right here, we're going to take a look at some of the fighting aspects on this real quick. Oh, okay. I suck at this. Oh, oh boy. I'm getting murdered by this guy, as you can see. Let me just get this down pack. And there we go. No, I think he just did that to me. Oh, this is not fair. Woo! Well, we know Dreamcast works, but let me show you. HK and start. Go back out. So, yep, this is the Game Pie 43. I think it's a worthy successor of the Game Hat. Um, great system, great build, great case. Again, we do have the acrylic, so you know that's scratch prone, but that's where the speaker goes. But get a nice 3D carbon fiber on here. And uh, you'll be good to go. Buttons, everything very responsive, very fluent. Of course, you know, RetroPie and uh, Recall Box are evolving, so there's all type of things now for the latency and stuff, and I really don't see any of that. Um, image moves super quick, as you can see. So, oh, wait, I like that song. Listen to this. With the game watch. That's cool. So, let me end this off with, of course, you know, the game that everybody remembers that they play. Oh, there we go. Well, this image also comes with hacks. <laughs> but, let me go down here. Of course, you know it was Contra. I love this game. Be able to port it a little on a um, 4x3 inch screen I know a lot of guys are like oh my god you know you're not playing in the correct ratio format uh, I'm like you know what it's 2019 uh, back in the day we were forced to play it that way that's all fine and dandy but with emulation you have admin rights to do whatever you want to it's an open platform that's what it's about you play it your way of course you know we want to respect the retro old heads and that's fine but your system your way you play how you want to play. You put the games on there you want to do. You put the cover and artwork you want to do. If you don't want to play it in a, a 4x3 ratio and you want to play it in the 16x9, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> don't let anyone make you feel bad about your choice of what you want to do. It's your system. You relive your retro way the way you want to relive it. People will always be opinionated about it. There's probably going to be opinions about this system. Oh my god, it's too... Boxy is too bulky, it's too this, yeah. But it allows you to take a whole entire library of 15 to 20 to even 30 some systems with you and have a ball. So that's my review of the Game Hat Pi 43. I think it's awesome. 
I think it's worth a buy. It's at waveshare.com. Check it out. And it is a successor to the game hat. Now you have two to decide from. This is Tech Made Simple. Take care.